Hey, what's up? In this video, we're going to compare the values of e to the pi and pi to the e without actually computing e to the pi and pi to the e. So in order to compare these two quantities, we need some intuition first. So we're trying to compare e to the pi to pi to the e. And we need to figure out which one is bigger. So how can you get from one um, to the other algebraically? Well, maybe a start would be to raise this to the 1 over e and raise this to the 1 over e. right? Because when you do that, these cancel. So you end up with pi. Then here you get e to the pi over e. So maybe it's enough to compare these two quantities. So that should lead, or it could lead, to this line of thinking. We have to use uh, power series. So we know the power series for e to the x. So e to the x is equal to the infinite sum. This is actually the Maclaurin series. So it's 1 plus x plus x squared over 2 factorial plus dot, dot, dot. And so we don't need the entire sum, right? But if e to the x is equal to all of this stuff, we can say e to the x is certainly bigger than 1 plus x, right? Because e to the x is the entire sum, so this is certainly bigger than just the first two terms. So e to the x is bigger than 1 plus x. Okay, so now we need to somehow use this uh, to compare e to the pi and pi to the e. And we talked about looking at e to the pi over e. So if we do that, what happens is we get the following. We replace x with pi over e, and this is greater than 1 plus pi over e. However, this does not seem to be um, the best case scenario because we have a 1 here. So it'd be really nice to get rid of the 1. So what we can do instead is look at e to the pi over e minus 1, right? And so now we replace each copy of x with pi over e minus 1. So this is 1 plus, and our x is pi over e minus 1. And that's where the magic happens, <laughs> right? The 1's cancel. So this here, you can write this as e to the pi over e times e to the negative 1 greater than pi over e. Right, the 1's cancel, and then when you multiply things with the same base, you add the exponents. I'm going to go ahead and bring this downstairs, and that way the exponent becomes positive. So let me scroll down so we have more room. This will be e to the pi over e over e greater than and then pi over e. Now we can multiply both sides by e. Things are coming together. Good stuff. So this is going to be e to the pi over e greater than pi. And now to get rid of the e, we can raise both sides to the e-th power. So e times pi over e, that means that the e's cancel. So you get e to the pi greater than pi over e. So that is the conclusion. e to the pi is bigger than pi over e. I went through that kind of quickly, but I hope it made sense. That's it.